So Sony is gearing up to roll out their next major system update for the PS4, Update 5.50. Although they've been somewhat quiet on its features, Sony did provide information on how people can try it out for free. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to test out the PS4 Update 5.50 early. Make sure to stick around to the end for more information on Update 5.50 and its possible features. So before we start, you have to have the following. A PlayStation Network ID, an account on your PS4 that's at least over the age of 18, and a device to complete the application like a computer or a laptop. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the big question. How do you get this next update early? Well, it's actually rather simple. However, if you are signed up as a PlayStation beta tester, so if you have this symbol on your profile page, you shouldn't have to go through this process. First off, get your computer, laptop, device, whatever, and click the link in the description that will be along the lines of beta test applications. That link will take you right to PlayStation.com, and you should see a page just like this. Next, you want to fill out your PlayStation Network ID, keep in mind that this is not your email, but rather your username, and that's it. Now, just submit the application. There is other stuff that you can check, such as signing up to be a PS4 beta tester permanently. Basically, all that means is that you will get the next updates without having to go through this. And also, there's the option to get updates from Sony directly to your email, but again, that's totally optional. To be honest, if you barely even use your email, you'll probably just end up cluttering it by leaving all those new emails from Sony in there. Now, let's talk update 5.50. As I said, Sony hasn't been loud when it comes to what 5.50 has in store, but we do know a bit. Sony is most likely planning to show off family features on PSN, fix some minor glitches, and to expand the PS4's features. The PS4 Update 5.0 showed off plenty of new features, and it would just make sense for Sony to expand on that. As for the release date for this new update, again, Sony has been relatively quiet, but it would make sense for beta testers to receive the update sometime in February. That being said, release dates can be all over the place. If Sony does come out with these updates features and its release date, then I will make a video on it, so make sure to stick around for that. If you like PS4 videos such as this one, then please let me know that you like this in the comments, and if you do, I might just do more videos like this. I hope you did enjoy this video too, if you did I would appreciate it if you shared this video on social media, but it's always up to you. If you want, you can also check out my media platforms in the description, and see you.